Okay, welcome back. This is part 32 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, what we did is we finished up our function, our fixed text function, and uh, we started to make it so people could change their password. And we're going to continue on with that. So, uh, what we just did is we put in our check to make sure that all the passwords have been uh, required. And now what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt our uh, our our old password. So we're going to say old pass. Or actually, before we do that, we need to make sure that the new pass and the confirm pass are the same. So let's say if uh, new pass equals equals uh, confirm confirm pass. All right, it's spelled the same. Uh, confirm pass. Whoops. And if it's not, we're just going to echo out your new password did not match, and then our pass form. Um, and I forgot to display the pass form after uh, we did not uh, fill in the entire form. Uh, so after we've made sure that the new passwords are the same, we need to encrypt our old pass. Old pass equals uh, md5 and old pass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and encrypt the new pass right here too. Uh, so new pass. And uh, now we're going to create a query and we're going to set equal to a query mysql underscore query so we want to say select uh, I guess we can just say select password from uh, users users uh, where uh, ID equals and this is our user ID variable and then we want to use numrows, so numrows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows, and inside of here we have our query. Our query. Okay, so oh, we've uh, got our numrows, and we want to put in the classic numrows if statements, saying numrows equals equals one, and then we want to say else. Um, your old password, or we'll say your current password was incorrect, and then the pass form, and that should say was your current password, your current password, your new password. Okay, there we go. So inside this this uh, if statement here is where we put our update query, or that should be insert into that should be um, update. That's a huge flaw on my part. So all of this insert into up here should actually be update. Um, huge fail on my part. I am sorry. Um, but it's a good thing I caught that. And besides, it's spelled info wrong on most of them. Uh, so we want to update users and set all of that. So let's copy that. And this should also be update. Okay, so there we go. So that, that fixes that problem. Um, so we can scroll back down. Inside of here, we want to update and then just have our echo your new pass password has been set and then just go ahead and display the pass form um, so we want to update users we want to set password into we want to set that to new password or new pass and where ID equals user ID so that right there, that is how to update user information, and um, so yeah, so that, that will update it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to uh, upload the edit profile, the top 
the functions, and the register file. So all of those files, I'm going to upload those and be right back. Okay, so I've uploaded the files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the edit profile link. So that takes us to our profile, our edit profile page, and everything is displaying correctly. Um, and you can see that I already have a current password typed in because on my computer I have the password saved. So, yeah. Um, and you can see right here in the bio slash about, you can see that we have uh, line breaks every time we have a new line. Now that's really annoying. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're going to replace all those line breaks with a uh, the uh, special slash n so it'll automatically give us a new line and it won't give us the line break or actually we'll probably just take out nl2br or anyway we'll we'll just replace them and we have our password form here um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the website um, just get, get rid of that and I'm gonna click save changes and we have a strip slashes error so that's in our functions page um, so let's go to our functions strip slashes ah that's why that should be um, this first one should be text and the last one should be finished text um, but we should have the dollar sign in there so I'm not even gonna pause I'm just going to back to the scripts folder and re upload that file and okay I will pause I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back okay so I re uploaded the file I'm gonna refresh and click continue and we still have the strip slashes error so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the edit profile page I'm gonna change that again click save changes and we still have the strip slashes error WTF strip slashes Okay, uh, I'm gonna pause the video and figure out what's wrong. Okay, so I figured out what the problem is, is that there's no underscore in the middle of those. So, yeah, I'm just dumb. Uh, so let's re upload the file, scripts folder, and any second. Okay, we refresh, click continue, and your information has been saved. Uh, and we're not displaying the form, which is kind of problematic. Uh, so we'll fix that in a second. Let's click Edit Profile, and you can see it has been updated. It doesn't show that. So let's uh, save changes again, and it's been updated. Let's go back to the Edit Profile. Uh, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Edit Profile page. It's not displaying the form after. That's why we didn't tell it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to display the form. Um, so I'm scroll up, and where we have our bio, what I'm going to do is, um, or no, it's when we're displaying it. So we're going to scroll all the way up where we have our bio. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to use the um, str underscore replace again, except we're going to set uh, bio equal to str replace. Um, or actually, no, we don't want to set it equal to. Um, well, yeah, we do. Okay, so we want to set bio equal to str replace, and I'm confusing myself. We don't want that. Um, so str replace, and then inside of here, uh, we put our our line break. So just like that, and we want to replace those with um, forward slash n or backslash n, whichever it is, and then we have our bio variable. So that right there, that will update the um, that. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the functions, and I'm going to get rid of the finished text right there, So because we don't want that there. Um, so that's kind of problematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and re-upload those two files. Okay, so I re-uploaded the files. I'm going to click the edit profile link again, and we still have them. Nah. Um, that's problematic. Okay, uh, crap, um, <laughs> uh, I guess put that back in, and, oops, we want to say bio equals, and I'm going to FTP those files up once again. Okay, so I'm a big retard here. Um, we don't need the NL2BR, and that's what the problem was, so, yeah. 
Um, so get rid of the NL2BR on the bio right there, and you can just comment that line out, or you can get rid of it completely. Uh, anyway, so that concludes, actually it doesn't conclude, uh, check out the next part of the video.